Hey guys, if you don't know, my newest special, Sledgehammer, is streaming on Netflix. Please give it a shot. Please watch with your friends. Please tell people about it. I would appreciate it. Thank you. I love you. This week on Two Bears, One Cave. I would love some good diarrhea to get through this. When you get diarrhea and <laughs> yeah. you're like, this diarrhea sucks. Would you rather every time you clear your throat, 40 boogers shoot out of your nose? Oh, God, yeah. Or... <laughs> you don't even have to go any further. I love that. I'm a throw up. I'm a throw up. I'm a throw up. <laughs> Get Change in the can. Hundred percent. I am joined by Bertrude Reginald Kreischer. I am, of course, Thomas Rutherford <laughs> Segura. <laughs> I have braces in. I know you're Invisalign. Uh, and my tongue flips on them a lot. Really? Yeah. I I, I can't really. Wait do, you have, wait, do you have rubber bands in too? Yeah, I have rubber bands in too. But they fucking feel like, it's fine if you're just like that, but when you're talking on uh, You I, know, someone was trying to convince me to get a sleep guard. They're like, you need the sleep guard. You need the sleep guard. The sleep guard. And they go, and it changed my jawline. And I go, yeah, Tom's yeah. got Invisalign because of it. Yeah, 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 I do. And also, I'm in, I'm in that the advanced, because you do new ones every week yeah. that are tighter. And now, like, I could feel it, like, moving my facial structure and my like at night i'm like oh i can feel it like in my are you head. serious yeah yeah because it's shifting my shut the fuck up i'm going do next you know your hair hasn't lost any more since you started shaving it what do you mean like your hairline stopped losing yeah my, i'm it. only thin here i yeah. have hair all here that's where i want it i know but but here's the thing once i grow out a little bit all yeah. you see is this huge pocket so i'm like i'm not doing that yeah and I have a sh shape that I can... You got a good shaped head. Yeah. If I could change one part of my body, it wouldn't be my teeth. You know, that you know, you know, uh, you know, but before I, I was going to get my teeth totally done top yeah, to bottom. And, and then they weren't they going to break your jaw. Yeah. They were going to break my jaw. They were going to pull out <laughs> Well, they were going to remove all my teeth. They were going to remove all my teeth and then break my jaw. It was a fucking shit show. Dennis or quack. Don't get me started on this. <laughs> don't go to Dennis. Dentists are fucking quacks. Doctors are quacks. Everyone's fucking quacks, man. You know, Rogan told me he's like, uh, he sent me this article on statins. Sound like you've been talking to any of us. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you know, you don't even need statins. Like, they're like, you know, this fucking world. The what? internet's the death of us. The internet's the fucking death of us. <laughs> because they tell you, like, you get on the internet and then they're like, yo, uh, you don't need statins because it's, uh, it, uh, the fuck is heart, statins? It's it's like uh, cholesterol medicine because uh, they're you, like they're like heart disease is hereditary, right? It's not. So you like you're gonna get it anyway. You're gonna get it. My dad's on statins. His blood pressure is perfect. How old is his, your dad? He's on. He's seventy four. He's on statins. His blood pressure is perfect. His cholesterol. Your dad perfect. was young when he had you. Twenty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's back when people gave up on dreams. <laughs> Think about that. No dreams. Think about that. No <laughs> dreams. No. My mom. No dreams. No dreams. Wanted to be a singer, wanted to be an ice skater. Nope, teacher. Think about that. I think about that sometimes when I see dudes like get in an elevator with like a briefcase and then work boots. Yeah. And then like jeans that are kind of like, and then a shirt that's a collar, but it's got a name right, written right here. Uh -huh. And you see the dude and you can just see it in his eyes. Like I fucking killed it today. I busted my ass. Yeah. But like this doesn't, I, I'm not getting an award for this. This is yeah. just work. Yeah. And I see that and I look up to that guy. I go, I wish I had what you have. Sometimes I'll follow them down to the bar at hotels <laughs> and watch them, watch them order. And, you know, they don't think about statins. They don't think about fucking, they just think about like. I killed it today. You got a cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they're like, yeah. What uh, What do you want to drink? Oh, double jack on the rocks. Yeah. And and then you watch them and you go, yeah, man, that's, that's the majority of this world is just fucking getting after it day to day. Sure. And fucking. And then you look at pussies like me who wake up at midnight and then take more NyQuil because they don't want to sit with their thoughts. There is something about... <laughs> I, can't get on an airplane. I can't get on an airplane. I mean, I look at like men. I am so far from a man. I am so far from a man. You know, like there's a, some self-actualization. What is happening, happening today? Like I'm so far from like a man, like a man, right? A man who goes, yeah, everyone else first, then me. It's not how I think. I go, me? And then, oh, there are other people here? Yeah. Like, I wonder if What that, do you think that is, though? I don't know. I wonder if my dad... I wonder if I never became a man, like, I, if I'm still a boy. 
You know, there's a definitely boyish quality to you. In I'm some double respects. fisting fucking coffees this morning, and I drank Nyquil like it was fucking like it had, there was magic in it. Did you drink? <laughs> did you drink a whole bottle? I went through it. Yeah, I went through a lot of the bottle enough that Pete, I think, wrote, marks a line on my Nyquil bottles. I just can't help it. It's so great to disappear. Yeah, it's so great to go like to watch your thoughts to lay in bed and watch your thoughts go go. Hey man, you, are you, you worried about the? And then, uh, what did you do to me? Or what, what did you do to me? How come I'm? How come I'm not working to keep you up with anxiety? What about death? And then you just go to sleep. <laughs> the, and then you have a dream you that you're please? pissing into a, in front of two Iranian girls to impress in a toilet, and they're like, "We can see your cock." And I'm like, "Ladies, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." And they're giggling. I was like, "Oh, did you like that?" And then you have that dream. We're five minutes in, and we are thick. Were you? Will you talk to your therapist about any of this? Like, will you bring this up? You know, uh, no. This is the stuff to talk about. No, this isn't. This isn't therapy stuff. Yes, it is. When you talk about men versus me, that is, dude. You're you're literally saying, I wonder if I have like this arrested development. If I'm still a boy, I'm not. I, why do I put myself for like that stuff to talk about with a therapist? What are you talking about? I, mean, I put myself. Here's the thing: is is I'm I'm very I'm very like I'm not I'm self correcting, but I'm more like uh I'm more like more punitive towards myself. Like I, I just. I'm more apt to shit on myself than I am to find. Like, if someone that knows me sat here, they'd be like, first of all, you you put a lot of people in front of yourself. Like, you know. I know I, you. Yeah. But, like, I, I do put people in front of myself all the time. Sure. But. But I'm talking I look about. At like, men. Mm -hmm. Like, men. Like, men. Like, grown men. I You know how many times I look at a guy and I go, I, I think every man's older than me. I think every dude's older than me. Anytime I see a dude. I go, he's got to be older. Except for Asian dudes, I always think I'm older than them. Mm -hmm. Like a lot, there's a lot, even like older Asian dudes, I go, I'm older than he is. <laughs> black dudes, black dudes. Yeah. I'm older than all of them. All of them. When I see black dudes, I'm, oh, I always think I'm older than them. And then I'm like, shit, we're the same age. Like I'm older than Nori. I'm older than, like I'm, I, I'm definitely, he's definitely older than me. You think so, right? Yeah. That guy, yeah. that guy's seen it. That'd be wild if that guy was like, I'm 25 years younger than you. Think about like, <laughs> think about the fucking dudes in the foxhole in, in World War II uh -huh. when they were like, go, and you didn't have free will, and you just had to be like, sure, I'm just going to go die now. Terrifying. Dude, I couldn't do that. I thought about you on this helicopter ride the other day because this thing had capabilities uh, that I wasn't aware of. The and helicopter? Because I'd never been in one like this. Yeah. And the guy was like, you want to see what this thing can do? And I go, no. Yeah. So we're different. We, he starts like banking sideways, like, you know, along the stream and yeah. like there's trees on other, either side of us. I mean, they're, they're right there and we're just going, we're like this. And then we go to this field and we hover for a second. And then he goes, do you want to see one more trick? And I go, yeah. And he just goes vertical in it. And I'd never, like, we basically almost do a, a flip in it and yeah. i pictured you in there I I've, like, I've been in helicopters like that that was pretty wild it's, we went over we you had, didn't like it though i fucking hated it dude yeah. have you ever been in a blimp no fuck a blimp dude fuck a blimp fuck a blimp fuck a hot air balloon yeah fuck, have yeah. you ever been have you ever seen a hot air balloon land do you, uh, know what they do? you know what they do what they go all right we're landing in that bank parking lot and you're like huh it's where they can't pick where they land they can't pick where they land. They just a blimp has no fucking choice where it lands. And then they go, all right, jump out in three, two, one. And you just jump out. And then you hope that you can help slow it down. It's, p type in blimp landing. If they're blimp fucking or hot air balloon? B fucking, well, blimp's different. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon landings suck dick. Hot air balloon landing. Just by hot air balloon landing. And they all fucking suck. They all fucking suck. Hot air balloons are overrated. They're hot as shit. All you feel is that your head burning. So here's a bunch of them. Oh, oh this, this is in New Mexico. They do this every year. I did this uh, in New Mexico with them. And then they all go to land and they have no pick. Look, they have no, they're not. Do you think this guy planned this? This woman's jogging about to get hit by a hot air balloon. And they have a fucking, they have a, they have a gas grill on there full of fucking propane. Yeah. And look, they're just like, all right, right here looks good. Does, right on this tree. Oh, fuck. Shit. Little help, guys. This is nice. This, this one's nice. nice. Yeah, it's slowly doing it. This one, if you have a little wind, you are fucked. And then they're going to be like, jump out? Oh, yeah, just hit right there. Yeah, and then they're like, mm, maybe we'll go up to the trail where people are walking their dogs. <coughs> <coughs> 
dude, look at this. And they're like, oh, this isn't working the way we thought. Can Shit. you move, sir? Can you help us? Dude, we landed in a bank parking lot at like fucking at about, and I'm not even joking, at about six miles per hour, which is pretty quick on a treadmill. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, and, and look, this they've got their kids. Yeah, and they're still going. And they're still going, and, and they can't stop because he's got he needs to like deflate the balloon and he can't do it in the fucking woods there. This dog's terrified. He knows what's going on. Yeah. It's still And now it's picked up speed. Look how look at him now. Look at him fucking now. It has. And they're and they're going into this tree. When is this thing gonna fucking land? He's gonna try to land here. Okay, and this guy's like, like, oh, oh, fuck. oh fuck. Oh fuck. We're we're tipping. God damn it, help us. Shit, fuck. The family's falling out. It's the, and then they're like, get out, get out, get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is a tame one. Type in if you can type in an aggressive one. Dude, and this does not compare to blimps. I was gonna say, but also there is no wind here. If wind is here, this thing just gets carried, probably, oh, right? Oh yeah. If the wind picks up, you're fucked. You're in Texas. Look for a bad one. Dude. Like who wants to see a nice one? Look for a fucking I saw one the other day fail. Where they the fucking balloon caught on fire because the balloon kept going and the heat the heat look Yeah. Yes. Epic fail. Hot air balloon is accidents easy and crash in compilation. Yeah, above that one. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, dude. That's coming in yeah, hot, dude. dude. <laughs> and that, that's coming in real hot, and he can't help it. Look at oh, this, and they're just fuck. watching. Yeah, they're all like, "This is not going to be good." All right. And that's... then I guarantee you the balloon catch. It. Look. Oh shit! That's it for Jose. Look Let's at him. See. Oh, wait, power lines? You can't pick if you don't hit power lines. Ooh. Look at that. Dude, hot air balloons. Oh, look at this. The burner went out. This is going to be. Oh, that's got to be fun. Can you imagine if you have your family in there for this? Oh, no, no, no. There's an engaged couple. They just got engaged. Yeah. And they're like, will, uh, we're going to hit will it you marry 55 me? miles an hour. Holy fuck, man. Everybody good? <laughs> and, then, and then it drags. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, look at this. Uh, look at uh, this. Look at this. Uh, oh, fuck. Into off. a car. Shit, onto a car. God, we're going through the parking lot. There's a building right there, Bill. Uh, Bill, Bill, Bill. I can look in. They're eating lunch. Fuck, Bill. Go up, Bill. In the front door. Yeah. And right now, too, he's like, I'm sorry. Uh, right now, the guy's like, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. We're good. You okay? You still want to go up? And she's like, no. I don't want to. This is... Look, dude, these... There you go. Ooh. Strong. Look, and now this is... I, I was a part of this, the drag in a fucking, in a, in a bank parking lot oh my God. where they drag you and everyone's like, it's okay. Yeah. This is terrible. What I'm, were you in a blimp on the show on the, okay. Blimps are fucking, I, I went, I went in the Goodyear blimp. Yeah. And I have a fear of flying. I have a fear of heights, but I figured blimp. My only real, the only thing I know about is the Hindenburg. Did you know that Hindenburg was a transatlantic uh, blimp ride? Was it transatlantic? Two days. It took two days to get from Germany to Jersey, right? Wow. Two days. And, and then it was all hydrogen gas. It was all hydrogen gas. And then the fucking, and then I think it was like their first one. Yeah. They're like, this is, we're going to revolutionize travel. Mm -hmm. Shit, is that a lightning storm? <laughs> and then it's over. Yeah. So you get in the blimp and it's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. Type inside the Goodyear blimp. It's not bad. It's it's a little comfortable. That right there is that. That's it? not it, but that's not it. Okay. Uh, you do not want to stay overnight in the fucking blimp. It's pretty nice. It, it, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like that with like nice seats. It's it's nice, and so they get you in, Tom. Mm -hmm. So this is the Goodyear blimp that you're sitting on the ground, and they're like, "All right, you ready?" And then they pump. Whatever I don't know if it's helium or hotter. I don't know what they pump it into the front, mm -hmm. the ballast. I guess they just go, tss, and so the good your blimp goes like this, tss, and then just takes off. So you are, I mean, practically vertical. fucking vertical, shooting up in the sky, and I and everything slides back. Every like people don't know, thump, and you're like ah. It wasn't until halfway through, and then there's this weird thing that happens. They have these ropes in the front. Look, look at how it fucking literally goes up vertical mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then, and but it feels like, so you know how that'll look? It feels a hundred times worse than that. It feels, 
especially if you have a fear of flying. But here's the worst part. In order to land, you got to do the same fucking thing. What comes up must go down. So if you go up oh, this way, you gotta, you've got to come down this way. Oh, wow. So you are diving at the fucking earth and you're like, fuck. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices and the path forward isn't always clear. It is so nice to have someone to talk to, someone that is not invested in your career, that you doesn't make money off you doing something if it's career-wise, doesn't have anything to benefit if it's personal. It's so nice to talk to a separate entity like a therapist. Whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, your relationship, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. I had a project that was offered me career-wise. I talked to everyone about it. Everyone associated was like, yeah, you should do it. But then I realized everyone associated was uh, someone had somehow to benefit as much as you want your managers and your agents and your wife and your team to be on your side. The stress that that project brought me was uh, a little insurmountable. And I talked to my therapist about it and he was like, he was like, it sounds like, and it's stuff I've, and I've done this before. It was so nice to have someone just outside of the camp to like go out into the woods and talk to a complete and total person on their own island. I'm telling you right now, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash bears today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash bears. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Do you remember the days when you were just always ready to go rock hard? Like, you're probably younger than you are now. And it, like, you could, you could hang, you could put towels and jackets on your hog because it was so rock hard all the time. Well, now you can do that again. You can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises to be super hard. The process is simple. You sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Yes, I did this because I want to be able to knock holes into walls again, and I'm tired of hurting my hand. So I'm using Blue Chew. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free, and we use our promo code BEARS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BEARS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. It was, it was the least enjoyable, and I've done, I mean... I've done everything there is to do in, in fucking aircrafts just from Travel Channel. Like we we sat at a we sat at a hover at what what is the uh the the statue uh the, the redeemer in uh in um in oh, uh, in Rio. In Rio? Yeah. We sat at a hover above Rio at the same height at whatever that is. Yeah. Sat in a hover, didn't fucking just like this in a helicopter, just we just sat above Rio at that at eye level, just sitting there. And the guy didn't speak any fucking English. That was terrifying, right? I've done yeah. some terrifying things, but landing in a blimp takes the fucking cake. What's the, um, have you done a fighter jet? No, I've never done a fighter That's jet. That's what I want to do. I really want to go up in a fighter jet. Yeah. Do you think there's turbulence in them? Turbulence? I mean, there's crazy G force in that thing. I mean, yeah. people are like, oh, they like pass out and fucking. I have a buddy, I have a buddy who, uh, who, is like I think a Top Gun instructor. I know there's civilian things that like there's programs you can sign up for and do that. I really want to do it. Really? Yeah, I really want to do it. You still taking uh, flying? Yeah, fighting thing. Fighting, Not fighting flying, flying thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, really, it's fun. It's fun. It's really fun. But I know that. Um, oh yeah, Tito Ortiz just did it. You see that one? No. He was in um, the back of uh, whatever that is there. 9g center feet. Look, look at his face he's trying to fight the uh oh my god <laughs> and then he comes to and they're like you all right he's like i'm good 
Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. Tito Ortiz passed out. Yeah. Nine Gs is a lot, man. Yeah, I mean, look what happens to these. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. But that's, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Also, you know, they say that like when you're up there, this is like the, uh, like a, you know, simulator of sorts. But when you're in them, even in that, I guess, but I know in, in Jets, you're supposed to go like, <laughs> like you're trying to keep oxygen into your, your brain that you're fighting to, to keep oh i'd pass conscious. out i'd pass out so quick yeah well i'd be drunk in that thing i'm not gonna go up sober i'm not gonna go fucking sober in a fucking f-16 or f-16 something? no fucking way <laughs> i'm gonna be fucking lit <laughs> i've been lit in every fucking really oh yeah I, the, the, when we the first thing, time we ever did trip flip we had to go up in a in one of those pontoon boats yeah we we're going to tabasco island i don't know if that's what it's called but it's where they make tabasco it's an island or it's it, wherever it's in fucking near water yeah and i snuck a 12 pack of heinekens on the back of this little pontoon boat yeah and i guess one had spilled and my cameraman was talking to the the pontoon boat guy and he goes I mean, there's something leaking out of your plane is that normal and he goes no and he goes I, something's leaking and the guy went over and he went that's beer and it, it spilled and it was pouring out of the back of his plane and he was like, are you fucking drinking in there? And I was like, no. I've gotten caught drinking in planes a lot. Really? I'm terrified of flying. But I'm terrified of a lot of things. Haven't you gotten better at that, though? I did. I flew here yesterday sober. See? Um, yeah. You well, told me you weren't, well, you know. I, I But it, it takes, I don't know. There's. I don't, it's, that's the shit I need to talk about in therapy. Like, why I, why I, like, if, if we order food, yeah, I feel like it all needs to be eaten. And if like if we order wine, I, don't, I feel like I can't leave the bottle. I want yeah. to drink it. Yeah. I can't. I if I light a cigar, I can't just smoke half of it. You got it. Like, yeah, I got to do everything. I want to do everything. I, I have a hard time leaving stuff on the plate. Yeah, that's a good one to talk about. No, there's a list. I've, I've started writing a list. What do you think? What do you think is the reason that you can't leave the food or the drink? I don't know. It's like it's like I grew up in the depression. Like I, I like I I just feel like it's wasteful. Like, even, like, I, I'll take stuff to go, you knowing I won't eat it. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, I, and, and and when I watch people take stuff to go and then they're not making it even, I get I get weird about it. Even? Yeah. Like, if, like, say we cook, like, five steaks, right? Yeah. And there's, like, oh, two steaks left. No one ate. And I, I chop them all up. And then Leanne will be like, everyone take some to go. And then I watch and she gives someone a little extra. I go, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> I want that. And then she's like, we don't need it. And I was like, no, I know. Like, pies. The other day. We had pies for Memorial Day, and I was like, and, the, and the, everyone took a pie home, and I was like, why aren't, why aren't we keeping a pie? And she goes, we don't need pie in the house. And I was like, she goes, you don't even like pie. And I was like, yeah, but we should have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's something really wrong with me. <laughs> was it pecan? No, apple. I don't even like apple pie. Remember that pecan the pie? Pecan pie is the fuck. What's minced meat? I've always wondered what a minced meat pie is. Is that like legit meat? I think so. Yeah. Is it minced meat? Is it not? Yeah, filled with minced meat. Diced oh, meat, raisins. Mixture of fruit, Who the spices? fuck Ugh. came up with this? The English. Pickle juice, pineapple juice, cinnamon, cloves, and salt. Okay. I want to try a minced meat pie. I've never had minced meat pie. Uh, you can have it. I don't want any I've of I've never had. I bet it's so fucking good. Mm. Wait, is it for dinner or is it a dessert? <laughs> Dude, if I, open a, if I ever open a like a... Like a pie a, place? A, no, like a beer garden. I'm, yeah. I'm serving mince meat pie. Yeah, you just said you never had it though. I know, but I, I bet it, I bet people will be like, what is that? I'll tell you what I had was haggis and eggs one time. Dessert. It's a dessert. Yeah. Has anyone ever had mince meat pie? No, I have not. <clears throat> I've had um I've had uh head cheese. Have you ever had head cheese? What's head cheese? It's type of head cheese. It's one of the grossest things I've ever had in my entire life, and it made me sick immediately. <laughs> it made me sick immediately. It did? Uh, immediately it made me sick. Like, heartburn, searing heartburn, and, and I, my gallbladder. I had a gallbladder attack. Oh, my God. It is so bad. What is in that? What the fuck is that? Is that just like intestines and tongue I, and I shit? don't know. I had it in North Carolina, and I got sick immediately. My tour manager got sick in Europe from eating like a psycho. <laughs> oh, wait, where? So first, first we went to this, 
I don't know what he ate, but we all we all had some rich. Oh, okay, that's boiled pig's head meat, and then formed into a jellied loaf. No, that's gross, dude. And it has pig's feet. And I tongue. mean, I got sick immediately. I've had. I, wait, how, what did he eat in Europe? Because I got sick so, in Sc- Stockholm. We were we were in Athens and we went. We all had like a pretty rich steak dinner. Yeah. So everybody had like a you know like a post rich meal shit. But that was just like that's a one and done. Yeah. The next day he's like he's like oh yeah I had a pretty rough you know go everybody's like yeah it was a little rough. But then he started eating Greek food like. Uh, he had he, oh, Greek food, he so good. I know he had but he had like some meat thing with the French fries. I was like, you ate that after you had a rough night. Like that's gonna be worse. Yeah, it's like you think so. I go, yeah. And then it's amazing how your brain will say, yeah. What I need is like a cheese pizza. Yeah. So then he eats that, and we go do the gig that night. And at the gig, he has the gyro with the fries again. He gets a Greek salad, but they put a big block of feta cheese on it, and he eats just the feta cheese. That sounds so good. And then he has a baklava, you know, the dessert, yeah. but like it's like a piece like this. And afterwards, he's like, my stomach's kind of upset. And I was like, what do you think's causing it? Do you think it's what you just ate? He's like, I don't know. And I'm like, all right. So the next morning, he's like, I threw up five times last night. Must be that steak we had two days ago. I'm like, I don't think so. So we get to the next city. And he's like, yeah, my stomach's kind of rough. I go, what are you going to do? He's like, I think I'm just going to have some pancakes, try to smooth things over. I go, I don't think wow, that's going to smooth. Is this your- guy me? I mean, yeah, I was like, pancakes? I had to like, I had to go, like literally talk to him like I was talking to one of my kids. I go, I think that's not the best for your stomach right now. Rice or something? Maybe, yeah, rice, banana yeah. or something. He was like, I didn't think of that. I'm going to try that. <laughs> I was like, okay, man. Leanne will go, yogurt, you need yogurt yogurt my my stomach i got we were in stockholm and i i ate they took us to this i think it was like a chinese restaurant but it was like it was like spicy chinese szechuan mm-hmm. and i ate so much i didn't realize there were like peppers inside yeah and they were like don't eat the peppers and i just ate it all and yeah. i was like there's peppers and they're like you ate it i was like i must have eaten the peppers dude i woke up I mean, I'm talking like I, I was uncontrollable. My stomach was like going crazy. I was shitting like crazy. I shit, I shit like twice on the plane, like on a plane. Yeah, and, and I wasn't even drinking on the plane, and I was just fucking ripping shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! It's funny you th- you, it's, you ever look at like going like, man, I I would love some good diarrhea to get through this. And then you get <laughs> diarrhea, and yeah. you're like, this diarrhea sucks. Yeah, you forget how bad diarrhea is when you can't control it. When you can't control it. When you're like, oh, I'm shitting again, and it's, and you diarrhea. Not when it's just relief. When it's just like a pervasive, like a real problem. Yeah. I've had di- I had diarrhea really bad one time. Um, one time I had it from uh, going from um, Sacramento back to L.A. And I had to pull over everywhere. And, I, and you're just like, man. I got really bad food poisoning on tour or, or last year. We were in Baltimore. And we do the show. And then we go to one of the best restaurants in Baltimore. They're like, this is like a apps like a great like whatever five star experience and we sit down and it's like it's a really nice place and they came out they go here's the regular menu but you know they have like this is the like kind of menu of the week too like with some other items and i was like i'll try this it was because you know crab and all that is like famous in in baltimore it was something like crab meat with these strawberries and i was the only one who got this as like a starter. So I eat it. I don't remember like feeling one way or the other about it. We have dinner, go back to the hotel. And I I was so lucky that the next day was an off day. We had very few like days off between shows, but it was an actual day off. And then a show was like the day after that. And that night I'm like, you know, at first you're like, do I? I Like I lay down to go to sleep and I'm like, I feel like I have indigestion or something. This is weird. Oh, like a bubble burp. Yeah, I'm like, what yeah, is this? There. And like, I go to the bathroom and I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like, do I have to go? Do I have to take a shit? And then I stand up and I, I wash my hands. And I'm going back and I about to walk to the back to the bed. I'm like, no, it's something else. I can't quite. 
figure it out. And then I just walk back and, and I vomit so violently, like so uncontrolled, like waves of it, like, and I was like, yeah. holy fuck. And then it like, it turns on in the di in the intestines too. I start just diet throwing and I start, I start doing both. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, we all had eaten together, but I was the only one to have that dish. And a few days after that, like I was, I was a mess for a, for a full day. It was yeah. such a, they come out with a strawberry recall. They're like, Hey, like strawberries Are you have fucking kidding me. And I was like, well, I'm the fucking asshole. The only one that ate, I must've had, you know, bad strawberries and it fucking destroyed me. It destroyed me. For there's a, there's a weird moment. Like, you know, we were talking about Hungarian the other day. Yeah. The Hungarians have words that don't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. There needs to be a word for the moment where you, you're convincing yourself you don't have to throw up, yeah. but your body's telling yourself yeah, you're about you're to right. throw up. That does need a word. Where you're going, like, where you're in the bathroom and you're like, I think I was just walking to the bathroom, yeah. maybe. And then your body goes, oh, we're throwing up now. Yeah. There was another <clears> time, too. I, I remember I'd gotten to Minneapolis and I was like, I feel weird. I want to take a nap. And it it's like a few minute realization where like all, and then after a few minutes of like, what is it? I go, I like look in the mirror. I'm like, I think I have to throw up. It's the craziest. There should be like a, a bodily function that happens when you have to throw up. Like, uh, like you, you get chili bumps or something. Yeah. And then you're like, Oh, I got to throw up. Cause you do do this thing where you're like, I'm going to, I think I'm, I think I'm throwing up. Yeah. And there's this, I, it's always happened to me on a tour bus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, would you rather every time you clear your throat, 40 boogers shoot out of your nose? Oh, God, yeah. Or <laughs> you don't even have to go any further. I love that. Keep going. I'll say yes to the next one, too. Or every time you scratch your arm, you shit out of your ears. I wouldn't mind shitting out of my ears only because I feel like I have clogged ears. And it would be nice to clear them out. This is what Ella said to me last night before he went to bed. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, me, me and him need to get on a text thread. He's like, hey, man, <clears throat> I got one for you. I go, what? <laughs> He's like, whether you cough and your boogers, 40 boogers shoot out of your nose, or you scratch your arm and you poop out of your ears. And I was like, well, that's really interesting. And, he, and then he threw me like 30 variations of that. He was like, what if you shit out of your head? Like you had hair. I can't, just wait. Shit. I I can't like, wait to see his when he's uh, in high school. Because they, they don't change. Yeah. Like, Isla's the other day was my parents are, were staying at our house. It was so crazy to and see Isla them. goes, would you rather watch Nana and Papa have sex every day? Oh, my God. Or just have sex with Nana once? And I go, Isla, the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. She goes, answer it. I was like, what's your answer? She goes, have sex with Nana once. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing them, with the, I saw them, whatever, like a month ago at your thing. Yeah. It was so crazy because I really did meet them uh, when they were babies. You know? I thought you were talking about my parents. No, you're fucking kids, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're grown up. They're fucking. Georgia is like a woman, a full woman. And then an Isla too. I'm like, I do not recognize. It's so strange for me. I wish you could give them a pill and just keep them as babies. Yeah. What age is the perfect age to keep as a child? Uh, they're pretty, because I'm in that kind of wheelhouse right now. That five to seven is kind of like this. They're sweet. They have a gen, like a genuine, an authentic innocence to the world. Like they're actually yeah. innocent, but they have personality. So they're totally who they are already. Uh, and they have some independence because you don't want them too young because then they don't have any independence. So I don't know. That six, six, seven is pretty sweet. But if you could do it to yourself, if you could then oh to yourself, take a pill. No, no. So that's when you keep your kids. If you could take a pill to keep yourself one age for the rest of your life, what was your favorite age? I mean, don't talk professionally. Don't talk no, like your favorite age. Cause like you know it was a pretty good year. I was thinking about it, and like nothing professional is going on for me. I'm just enjoying life, and just as like 25, I felt like I was I had a really good 25th year. 27 for me was pretty fucking solid. Like yeah. 27 for me that I felt like alive every day. I was in really great shape at 27. It's when I met Leanne, mm -hmm. and I felt alive. I was I was not professionally. I was lost. I didn't know who the fuck I was. Yeah, I mean. This year has been a really good year for me. Like I've I've really felt more myself, but like physically, I'm the worst I've ever been. Physically. Yeah, but you're also you can curtail some of these things. Yeah, I can. I'm trying. You could dial some things back. I could. 
Summer's right around the corner, and as the sun shines brighter, your skin deserves the utmost attention. Fortunately, our friends at Caldera Lab are here to ensure your skin is well prepared for the season ahead. Ever since I incorporated Caldera Lab into my routine, taking care of my skin has never been simpler and more fun. I swear to God, I've never been good, but their under eye serum, the icon, is legit. I put it on before I had a photo shoot. I'd do a photo shoot for the movie, and I put it on. And the lady said to me, your Andre eye looks great. Did you already put serum on? And I was like, I did. She's like, what is it? <laughs> I said, the icon. Caldera Lab creates high-performance men's skincare products, and the regiment leads off their product lineup. A twice-a-day routine to transform your skin inside this bundle. You're going to find the clean slate, the base layer, and the good. They also have an eye serum called the icon. It addresses the three most pro problem skin concerns around the eye. Fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. It works, dude. I love it. Get 20% off with our exclusive link at calderalab.com slash bears. That's 20% off by going to calderalab.com slash bears. Elevate your skincare game this summer with Caldera Lab. Like I maybe could. leave already, some I'm, sandwiches on the table. I'm already thinking about a cocktail at the airport today. You are? Yeah. I woke up this morning feeling so fucking good. Yeah, you woke, you slept 10 hours. And I was like, I was like, I was like, I feel good. I'm still a little sick. I'm going to go home. I'm going to take, I'm going to fly home, get some good night's sleep, bang out a great weekend, have a great fucking weekend. What are you going to do at the weekend with your weekend? Uh, work. Just work. Just work. We were Nadav and I were talking about that. What is what was that saying you said your therapist said, Nadav? Uh, give yourself the slack. Give yourself the slack that you'd give others. I don't give anyone any fucking slack. I expect everyone to be working every day, all day, every day. Because that's what I do. So, like, I don't understand the whole fucking day off shit. I'm like, day off, I'm still texting people. Like, I'm like, hey, what about this? What about that? I, I, I don't, my, but my brain doesn't, like, my brain doesn't operate that way. Yeah. I'm supposed to go to the beach with Leanne this weekend. But, uh. That'd be great. I really want to be. I really want to get some chloroform, and just get chlor like chloroform myself. <laughs> like just be like, just make the call. Like have it in my pocket, and then be like, uh, like sit down. And, this is what I want to do. Dude, you have to do this. Chloroform? Yes. This is my. This is how I chloroform myself. I go. Uh, yeah. Can I get? Uh, I want a double cheese. Oh, I'm gonna get a cheeseburger everywhere I go. I love cheeseburgers. Yeah. Cheeseburger. I want cheeseburger. I want pasta, and then I want the best dish they have. I want. Double Tito's of soda, and I want a I want a fucking like a, a Irish car bomb, <laughs> right? That's my order. And then right as it comes to the table, I just pull chloroform out. I go nope. <laughs> and then I wake up the next morning. Leanne goes, "You didn't eat last night." And I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" But I got all the fun of ordering it, but I didn't eat. Yeah, do you want to chloroform each other on the next Two Bears Live? I would love that. When are we gonna do a Two Bears Live? I don't know. This, I, I would love, I would love to be able to chloroform I, myself. Can I also, what I also want to do with you? Sure. We do a, a, a taste testing, like a food testing thing. Yeah. Where we eat like some delicious stuff, and then we eat like that canned, hey. fermented, like uh, uh, you know, seals eyes from like no, like Norway. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. We do, so we, <laughs> we see if we can do it without throwing up. I feel like it would be fun. I think I'd be into some of that stuff. Yeah, like that shit. Yeah. Oh my god, I feel bubbles in my stomach right now just looking at these. Oh, people are throwing up just tasting it. Yeah. That that's it. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Watch that dude eat it. Let, let's see him try to eat it. Yeah. Can we see him? Because I, I yeah these dudes. Look at these kids. This stuff is supposed to be when you crack it is when people get like just at the scent coming out when they when they first crack it the scent is so like would you do this with me yeah look at these two little fucking yeah sled riders <laughs> <laughs> that's got a stink dude oh they got spacers in their ears what the fuck's wrong with this kid oh he's already thrown up here's the problem though i yeah. didn't is he oh, drinking? What's man. he drinking? What's Pima? I don't know. We have to eat this last, though. We have to try all this other food and then eat this last. Yeah, and what's Pima? I don't know. I think it might be milk. There's a cow on it. So strawming. I like these two little kids. Oh, man. What is the, like, what is the, and I've, and I've done it for a living. I don't know why I'm even fucking asking. What? There's like a, there's like a whole genre of, like, hurt yourself entertainment. Yeah. And it's so fucking fascinating to oh, me. Oh, dude, 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 look. 
Oh, man. <sighs> we have to do this. How bad is it? It's got to be bad. I mean, just the scent. I love that he's, I love that it's so cold. Every time he gags, smoke comes out. Oh, he hasn't eaten it yet. This kid just threw up. He just threw up. Without eating it. Without even fucking eating it. All right, here they go. The kid on the fucking right is a gang. Nope. I'm going to throw up. 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 Change it. Change hey, hey, it. Get a can. Change it and give me a get breakfast it. burrito. Get change a- it. <laughs> get change him a it. can. Fuck it. I'm going to throw up. Just change it. Oh, my God. Fucking. What the fuck? <coughs> get that can. Oh, my God. Please go in the can. Please. What the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. Okay, here's the challenge. We don't eat for four fucking days. And then we have a meal of that. Dude. I couldn't do it. I know. I'm making, you're making my eyes water. <coughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh. That's fucking aggressive. Why don't hot chicks ever do that? Type in hot chicks hurting each other. Like the like there should be like hot chick jackass. Oh, they do have Rachel, uh, what's her name's on Jackass? Uh, Wolfson. Wolfson, yeah. Yeah. But it's hard to watch a hot chick hurt herself, but it's fun to watch these dudes, Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz doesn't seem to age. Really? He still seems young to me. Hot, hot boxing yeah, babes. Hot boxing babes. Mm. I don't want to watch there used to be this thing when I was a kid called Foxy Boxing. Yeah. And it was just two chicks beating the shit at each other. This looks and like they, a, this is a, looks this like a is porn. A porn. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's definitely yeah. porn quality. Love it. Okay. Oh yeah. I look at him. He's like, slip this punch. Is that Gronk? <laughs> I know, right? It does look like Gronk. <clears throat> So this is going to have this lame shit and then none of the cool stuff that happens after it. Is he under arrest? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this storyline? <laughs> what is that storyline? I don't know. That's uh, phenomenal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, but this is lame. What yeah. about like, what about them doing what we just like hot chicks, you know. Hot uh, chick jackass. Um, it's going to be Rachel. Yeah, like that first one. Is that are those chicks? Okay. Oh, and they're are eating they're the the thing. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. But if they can swallow cum, they can definitely do this. I don't know, man. Maybe cum's not as bad. All right, we'll do that too. Jizz. Yeah, we'll drink each other's jizz. Oh man. No, not. I won't drink yours. I'll drink mine. Oh, fuck. It's got to be quick. You want it hot? You're gonna shoot a load into your mouth? I don't know. I mean, no. How many views do you think we'd get if we drank each other's jizz? Probably a lot, but I don't know if it's worth it. We need to move to, like, if you can move to any state and you can't, like, because Texas is too hot in the summer. What's the perfect state? Colorado. Colorado is pretty fucking awesome. I love Colorado. Colorado, But are there bugs? Like, Alaska's badass, but then there's so many bugs in the summer in Alaska. I don't know what the bug is. Dude, there are... Just gnats everywhere in Alaska. You cannot breathe in without breathing in bugs. It is aggressive. Really? Yeah. What about Wyoming? Wyoming's pretty fucking awesome. Was there any diversity in Wyoming, though? No. You don't think so? You need a little diversity. The food sucks. No, I'm not saying that you don't need it. I'm just saying there's not a lot. Type in diversity in Wyoming. I bet there's more than we think. I I bet I'm probably being, like, judgmental because I live in L.A. and it's excessive diversity excessive wyoming is top 10 states that has a non-hispanic white population it is over 90 percent. hold on it's 90 percent white people in wyoming yeah the state has one of the lowest populations of african-american residents in the nation ranking 42 out of 50 also has the fourth lowest percentage of asian residents it's literally what you've been dreaming about it's everything wait wyoming has 90 percent whites yeah Do you know what non-hispanic that means? What, let's walk let's walk you through what that means okay yeah. Go to a basketball court and you're fucking bawling. Yeah. 
You walk yeah. into any public basketball court and you're like, hey, I got next. And they're like, ooh, this guy's good. Yeah. What else does that mean? If you're if it's all white all the time? There's no Asians, no Hispanics, no black people. You're the smartest guy in the room sometimes. Sometimes. You know? yeah. Sometimes sometimes you're always the most yeah. fucking liberal. Yeah. Like you're you like if you say anything, you're like at the gym, people are like, I've never seen muscle development like that. Your shoulders are jacked. in the showers are yeah. like, oh, big dick coming through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. It's a lot of good stuff. 90%, 90% white is fucking insane. Yeah. What like let's be honest. <laughs> you know, you probably feel safe too. <laughs> I almost passed out. Um, I almost passed out from that. Yeah. I Holy mean, shit. 90% white is fucking. Your, what, who's, who beats Wyoming? Your level of Spanish is considered bilingual there. My, yeah. <laughs> like, I oh, am bilingual. Yeah, By the way, I could open up a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Least racial diverse states. Most. It's most. Mo oh. Uh, we're almost there. Wyoming's it. 50, West Virginia. Oh, Maine. Maine. Maine is so white. For real? Yes. Yes. Maine is so white. I wonder if that means that you get a different type of white person also. I remember that when I did Maine, I was like, I said something. I was like, oh, I saw your black guy today. Like, I saw him. And, um, and like, somebody afterwards was like, why would you say that? And I was like, what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? Yeah. It's, it is... It's fucking 99% white here. Like, That's fucking insane. West Virginia is white? I've been to West Virginia. What Was it? I don't remember. I mean, I thought it was like... Wyoming's not even the last five. And it's 90%. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's fucking insane. So wait, I live in the most... I do live in the most racially diverse state. And you do too. Hawaii's Texas. three? Well, yeah... Because there's huge Asian population. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I don't think of racial diversity as just white people. I think of racial diversity as who's got the most of everything. Yeah. And so they, they're, when they think diversity, they're thinking how many different than white. I think so. I, I, think, I think Hawaii would not be that diverse at all because it's majority of Hawaiians. Hmm. You know? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But yeah. New Jersey, New York, New Mexico, Florida. Yeah. Yeah, so huge. Hawaii has the highest racial and ethnic diversity, which is three to one. Wow, that's fucking. California insane. has the highest language diversity, two point three times higher than that in West Virginia, with the lowest. Nevada has the highest birthplace diversity. I don't really know. North that. Dakota has the highest religious diversity. Really? Doesn't that surprise you? Yeah. Well, I bet there's like, I bet it's all just different forms of Catholicism. Well, of Christianity. Christianity. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you're a Lutheran? That's wild. Wow. wow. You had, you mean Martin Luther rewrote the Bible and translated it so that they couldn't tax us on bullshit? You still believe that? <laughs> Come on. Um, what the fuck was that guy? Scroll down. Who's that fucking guy? <laughs> what the fuck is that guy's face all about? Jesus Christ. I'm oh, it's just one of those slides. Oh, it's just one of those. Uh, These yeah. always fucking suck. They, do they were suck. really good like 10 years ago, and yeah. now I'm like, now I'm like, I, you, I got you. No, I just saw that. I'm never going to see how much weight Gabby uh, uh, Precious lost. Yeah. That's what it's always about. Take a look at her now. Did and then she, they never did, do. Did, they she? Never did she? She just looks the same. She look, I mean, she looks good, but she doesn't look like she, she's got famous. So she looks good. She looks good, but she doesn't. It's not like she's like. Looks like she's like in 130 pounds. Uh, okay. She looks better, but she got famous, and so yeah, she looks better. She got famous and got well. She did lose a lot of weight, dude. Yeah, she looks better. Yeah, yeah, she did. Well, she did lose a lot of weight. Caborne Sibide Sidibe's stunning weight, like like. Yeah, I wonder how much she actually lost. Probably, uh, probably a hundred pounds. It looks That's like. a lot. That's yeah. a lot, dude. She's a fucking badass. She's on a new show with Johnny Knoxville. Really? Yeah. Yeah, she's on a. She was, dude. There you go. How much did she lose? 300 pounds? Oh, 300 to 150. She lost 150 pounds. pounds. That's hard as fuck. That's hard as fuck. Yeah, that's... She was battling against type 2 diabetes, anxiety, bulimia, and depression. God damn it. See, that's fucking bullshit. I fucking hate that people battle that shit. Because I don't battle, like, I don't battle any of that shit, really, and I should. Like, I should battle 
I should battle. Well, I do I battle with anxiety, but yeah. I don't battle with it. I just deal with it. Well, I, mean, I think I got depression, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> are you listening to yourself? I, don't, I mean, but I mean, like who? Like how many people do you think right now are watching that go? Yeah, I got depression, but I just get through it. Well, like, yeah. I don't. I don't have like the depression. I don't have a real depression. Like I don't have the depression that has to take pills. Yeah, I got like just regular fucking depression. Like everyone should have a level of depression. I don't know, really. Yeah, you're going to die one day. It's going to go black. Yeah, you, sh- you should realize that every morning when you wake up and go, "That's my day." That's what you should do. Yeah, and then realize, yo, a lot of people die and they didn't think they were going to die that day. That could be you. You think that's a good thought to have? No, but no, yeah, because then you realize oh, we better get a lot out of today. Yeah, I got to take these out. Take what out? My braces. Well, this is cool. Why is it hard to? It's just annoying. Does it hurt? No, I feel like I'm making out with a seventh grader. Did you make out back then? Yeah. Made out in sixth grade. Sixth grade? Sixth grade. Caught me off guard. Chick kissed me. It's pretty badass. Was it? It's one of the coolest kisses I've ever had in my life. French? Fuck yeah, French. Didn't even know what I was doing. Wow. I don't even know if I brushed my teeth that day. Man, it was good. It was happening in my bedroom. In your bedroom? Yeah. You had a chick in your bedroom in sixth grade? My uh, Our parents were friends. And, uh, man, this chick was badass. She came in, she leaned in for the kiss? Uh, we were laying on our back to, we were laying on our backs head to head listening to music. I, I was so innocent. I didn't know that, like, you could kiss someone or that someone could kiss you. Yeah. Like, I didn't know any of that. And we were laying back to on our he- on our backs, head to head. And then she just got up and then got on, came over top and kissed me. And I was like, and then we kissed probably, probably f- five more times. And then and then I think we dated. We dated for a second, mm-hmm. but that I think that was in seventh grade. And I uh, man, that was like the fucking best kisses you'll ever get. Are those first, those first rounds of kisses when you're like walking around with a hard dick, and you're just like, is this gonna happen? Is this gonna happen? Yeah. And then eighth grade uh, was like even fucking better. Eighth grade, seventh into eighth grade was even better. That fucking chick, man. That was that fucking chick was like the fucking shit. <laughs> and then and then the rest of them were kind of like you know like cool, but like yeah, I don't know. You're always chasing the the first one. Sure. What was your first kiss? It was, it was well, just like a small kiss. It was probably late. It was later, like eighth or ninth grade. Yeah. And then. No French kiss? No, it wasn't French. French kiss wasn't until like 10th, 11th grade. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And then. Were you ready for it when it happened? Uh, No, it was sloppy too. I remember that. Like I remember when it was done, she was like. God, like Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Do you think that's because you know how to speak Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> but, but there was there was there was one and then the second girl that um I made out with also did everything else too. Like sucked your dick and stuff? Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't get <laughs> that for a long time. Yeah. I didn't get my first blowjob until college. Really? Yeah, that was a fucking I can tell I mean I remember I remember going like I've been waiting for this. Yeah, I, I've talked about it on stage before, but uh, I thought that you were supposed to blow. Like I thought, like <laughs> yeah, that you blow yeah. or something. Yeah, I didn't know that you sucked. Yeah, and she started sucking my dick, and I was like, I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but I was like, I really like your way a lot. And then we were in my <laughs> bunk in, yeah. in Sally room one eleven, and I was getting and the bunk was really high. So every time she went up, her head would hit a ceiling panel. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to get asbestos from this bitch. Yeah. That's my thought the whole time. And then I blew a load. <laughs> and she swallowed it. Yeah. And I was like, and I said, you, that was fucking amazing. And then she said, yeah, I get that a lot. And I went, ugh. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. I remember that that girl then blew me while I was driving. And I'm in high school. And Those I was, like, the I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing, you know? Yeah. And then she came up and was like, um, <laughs> like she just had some fucking caviar. She was like, that was delicious. And then, um, 
Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty wild to experience in high school. I thought, you know, Roadhead uh, College. What college? All all had was college. I was telling someone the other day that uh, they were asking me what cocaine was like, and I was like, cocaine is like cocaine is like the first time you had unprotected sex and you're like uh this is very different very different this is exactly what they say it is yeah it's like it really fucking delivers like unprotected sex i remember i remember having that and being like i'm never wearing a condom again <laughs> i was like what am i a fucking idiot yeah. who fucking wears condoms now and then you have the uh the girl who's like just whispers like it's okay you don't have to pull out and you're like okay and then you're afterwards you're like is it really okay i did that she's like i don't know i just said yeah. like, wait what <laughs> why did you say that she's like, there hey, should I'll... be there should be a scene in a movie where a guy where a guy and his wife a guy cheats on his wife she goes did you have sex with her and he's like i did she's like did you wear a condom and he laughs at her he goes no <laughs> you out of your fucking mind you think i'm wearing condoms you out of your fucking mind i'm not a kid i'm not a child I'm a fucking man. I blew a load in her. I hope yeah. I have a kid. <laughs> I hope I have a kid. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Ne I would never. I would. I can't. I'm, I mean, I can't imagine a world like. I guess people. I mean, I guess I don't cheat. So I guess then then that's where my brain goes. But if I did, I was never wear a fucking condom. Yeah. But I guess people who cheat probably wear condoms. I don't know. I guess if you cheat, you probably think that that ahead. Like I don't know. Like, but if you want that kid, you probably don't. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to impregnate the world, I do. Yeah course you do i wouldn't mind another kid like i would only cheat to have another kid why don't you i don't wish i could <laughs> i wish i could i wish i fucking could i would love i would love to have another kid yeah you keep saying it yeah i know because i feel like i feel like you, know, you travel enough you could have one somewhere else you see it every once in a while i would i mean it'd be badass <laughs> yeah it would be badass <laughs> like just have a kid in australia and just go yeah. there like once a year and be yeah. like all right, mate. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, what's up there, Charlie? Remember me? Ah, yeah. it's it's your pop. You just leave a few grand. Yeah, you know, Leanne would be a couple so toys. Leanne, I I told you. Did I tell you that I what Isla said about me cheating on Leanne? No. We were at dinner. It was me, just me and her, and she goes, "Hey, if you ever cheat on mom, I'll never talk to you again." It's just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, and I went, "Whoa." Like, what's that for? She goes, I'm just letting you know. If you ever cheat on mom, I will never speak to you again. I go, well, what if mom cheated on me? And she goes, I get it. I said, what? She goes, you're gone a lot. That makes sense. She works really hard for you. And I went, really? She goes, yeah. You can sleep with a dude. I can see that. I can see that. And I was like, what? She goes, I always thought you were a little gay. I was like, oh, thanks, Isla. It's so funny that like, like kids these days don't like that how accepted homosexuality is and mm -hmm. i guess not even homosexuality is just gender fluidity yeah very it's, it's yeah. so amazing like how accepted it is that they're like i was talking to my my friend and his son's gay uh-huh and i was like and i don't my first instinct was like whoa and he's like yeah you know it's you know it's what the kids it's what the cool kids are doing these days just being gay and i was like that's so funny that you know that was the exact opposite of what yeah. when i was in hot college high yeah. school like, if you sucked a dude's dick, it was ex actually the least cool thing you could do. Like, if you were like, yeah, I sucked his dick. Isn't that cool? They'd be like, what do you do? <laughs> like, well, yeah. Who was like, yeah, I sucked his dick. It was cool. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> said that. No one said that in high school. No, no. one was like, dude, I've been sucking these dudes' dicks. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. High five. And then everyone was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why is that? How is that possible that, like, just in, like, 30 years? Because one of the things is that we've actually come to understand that sexuality is pretty fluid for people a lot of people have uh like they go through these so changes fucking crazy i remember yeah. being in a i remember being i remember being in a scenario with a dude it was a bunch of dudes and that it was like we were we were, we were I, there were some women in the in the in the scenario yeah but we were playing like i never mm -hmm. and uh and one of the ones was i never sucked a dude's dick and swallowed and he drank and we all laughed hysterically yeah. but we, we were grown-ups i was like 30 yeah and we laughed he was like, no, I did it in high school. And we're like, and we were frozen. We were really? like, you did. And he was like, yeah. And we're like, okay, wait, why? And he was like, I just to see if I liked it. I didn't like it. And we were like, oh, wow. 
It's so crazy. And then all of us were like, and then he got up and everyone was like, he just sucked a dude's dick. Yeah. But that was, that was not that far. That was 20 yeah. years ago. And now the response would be. And now the response is like, yeah, yeah I sucked a dude's dick. It's so, I mean, it's, I, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's good. It's yeah. good for like acceptance. Like no one feels like an outsider. Sure. I guess. And, and maybe people get to do what they always wanted to do. Just suck dicks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's good, but it's just so crazy that like our lives 30 years ago, 30 years ago. It was the exact opposite. Yeah. That's fucking insane. What do you think is going to change next? I bet Wyoming you still can't suck dudes' dicks. I think you can. But I, bet got, Wyoming, you can. You I bet can, Wyoming you can't. I bet Wyoming you can't. I bet Wyoming you can't. It has to be a white guy's dick, and then, then it's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. Where are you going to find a black guy? You got to go on a hunt. Yeah. You're looking for the Holy Grail out there. Yeah. Now, what is next? I don't know. I mean, fluid sexual fluidity has been fully accepted, and then people's gender identities, obviously, like at the forefront. That's talked about all the time. Yeah. And that's kind of made its way into a pretty Wait, do you think do you think that's do you think that's just new york and la do you really i mean i was joking about wyoming but do you think like wyoming there are kids like dudes sucking each like in high school sucking each other's dicks? yeah i just think it's i think the smaller the community you live in probably the harder it is to find uh comfort and and feel like you're you know quote unquote normal with what you're doing if you go to bigger cities obviously it's so wait, more prevalent what do you think is the thing that slowed it down because alexander the great had, had gay relationships fucked a lot of dudes. fucked a lot of dudes and yeah. in, in greece and in ancient rome you could fuck dudes could fuck dudes yeah what do you think was the thing that stopped it in in history where they were like it's a good question like because it, it happened and then it didn't happen and then like i mean that oscar wilde was it oscar wilde who got thrown in prison for uh Hooking up with dudes. Yeah. And he I don't died know. in prison. That's a really good question because it probably, there had to be a period where nobody gave a fuck about it, right? Like yeah. in the year 1200, who cared about, I don't, I can't imagine. I don't know. But it feels like it was the, that the homophobia was at its peak in the last century. Is it's got to be, like. it's got to be with the, it's got to be with the religion. Yeah. It's right. got to be with, with the Catholic religion. Well, it all, all Christianity like has. Or, or Christian religion. I'm sorry, yeah. Christian religion. I mean, that's who like the most outspoken anti-gay people of the last 50 years were all like these preachers. And then they almost exclusively were all having secret homosexual relationships. That's so it was like very self-hating -hate, kind of that's prophecy. That's so fucking crazy that like, that it, it happened. It clearly happened and yeah. it's happening again. And then we had this little period of darkness where they were like, it can't happen. But it was happening. Yeah, you just had to do it in, in private. Now nobody. Like there were I'm, there were guys were like, like we, I went to an all boys Catholic high school, and I'm sh I'm certain that if there was anyone who went to school with us, they would classify me every dude they went to school with as homophobic. Yeah. Whereas I don't think, I don't think people were as homophobic because there were there were dudes that we knew were gay. Yeah. That we knew were gay, and no one no one like busted their balls about it. Yeah. But we'd bust each other's balls about being gay. Yeah. Like the not, I don't even know if they were non-gay now. I mean, now I'm sure they're on the spectrum. When did homosexuality become unacceptable in Europe? Good, great job, Nadav. Um, in the ancient Greek world, male homosexuality was common, didn't attract the same scorn as it did even 100 years ago. So 2,000 years ago, it was acceptable. 100 years ago, it wasn't. When did this change? However, the more the empire became Christian, the less it tended to be practiced. Um Okay, that's just an opinion, though. These are opinion pieces. Um, Sorry, that was the closest thing I was able to find. Let me keep looking. Yeah. It's got to be the Christian religion. Yeah, I think so. But also, but w at what point in, in Christianity? Because Christian religion has been a religion for a few thousand years, right? So when in those 2,000 years did it become like this is not... It feels like it had to be more recent, like in the last 100 years, that that people were really frowning upon it. It seems like, I mean, now you, it's, if you live in a Western society in a mid-sized city or a large city, I don't think anybody really bats an eye anymore. That's but, crazy. Do you think, do you think, uh, do you think that what's happening here in this country is happening still like over in Europe? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's sexuality is definitely more. It can't um, be Christianity. You, in Muslim countries, there it's it, there's not acceptable. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, but this is organized major well, organized major religion. organized religion. Yeah, but uh, but in, but what you know, Europe, like in Africa, like in Africa, like, Africa has a lot of places that are not cool with homosexuality, a lot. But like, is there parts of Africa like, like, uh, like say like, uh, 
Zimbabwe. I'm trying to think of a place that isn't predominantly Muslim. Yeah. Like uh, like the Zulu, where there's gay, type in where they're gay Zulu warriors. Hmm. Because I feel like there's uh, some pretty outspoken anti-gay. Wouldn't it be better if this podcast had the information instead of asked it? Yeah. Like if you went on a podcast and you learned something, Shaka Zulu was gay? <laughs> Wait, what is that? Shaka Zulu's gay slur causes uproar? Shaka, is it true that Shaka Zulu is gay? Uh, By the way, I'm going to get... That's the same, like, just, it's not real websites. So God damn answer. it. So uh, we aren't the first ones to have these thoughts. We're not. We're not. There should be a podcast, a companion podcast, called Answering uh, Bert and Tom's Questions. Here we go. Zulu King, make that larger. Hey, uh, Ndob, not a bad idea. Has been accused of homophobia and fueling violence amongst against gays in, in South Africa over comments he reportedly made on the weekend. The Zulu king called gay people rotten during a speech, uh, according to the South African Times newspaper. Um, da -da -da. According to Traditionally, there were no people who engaged in same-sex relationships. There was nothing like that. If you do that, you must know that you are rotten. I don't care how, how you feel about it. If you do, you must know that it is wrong and you are rotten. Same sex is not acceptable. All right, this is like some speech this guy gave. Probably. That's crazy. But, uh, homophobia has to be based off of the fear that you're gay. Yeah, I think so. Most people that are, I don't think if I you do. are that outspoken about it, like aggressively, it doesn't really make, it doesn't really add up unless you're terrified of it yourself. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever been afraid of being Dicks. gay. Yeah. But I don't think I was given the option to be gay. Meaning, like, I it wasn't presented as like a, an a, an 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 equal option as being straight. Yeah, but I think it, here's the thing, man. I don't think you really need the option. You either you would know what you're attracted to. You know? I don't know if that's true. You don't know what makes your dick hard at this point. Like you do. No, no but I but I, I but I don't, okay. So wait, in this point in history, am, am I like? It seems like I'm an outlier. In sexuality, because it oh. seems like seems like the majority of this country is gender fluid. No, what well, it seems it seems like. Well, I'm watching kids. Yeah, it's, and the it's, way kids it's happening different. with kids. The conversation's different, but it's, no. it's like it's like everyone's cool with like yeah hooking up with the same sex. Whereas right. like I wasn't presented that option. I mean, that was not like a presented. But does the idea of that make your dick hard? No, no, that's what I'm saying. Though you're not gay. Yeah, but I don't think. It's almost like if I was like, "Hey, well, I never had Indian food." Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I never craved Indian food. I yeah. never craved it. Yeah, I was never like, "God, oh, man." I mean, I heard about Indian food. Yeah, but I was like, all I heard were like the bad things. Yeah. Smells like shit. Ruins the hallway. <laughs> like you get diarrhea. Your your fingers burn. You can't finger a chick. Like all yeah. the, all the negatives about Indian food. Yeah. And then you have Indian food, and you're like, "Oh shit, man!" I like. I didn't know I liked Indian food. Yeah. Like, fuck, I never, I never had Indian food. Had I known about Indian food? You I can go food fuck a guy. And, and if, if, if you feel like just the option is there, that it might change. I just don't, I think you would have done it by now. You would, have, would have realized. definitely tried it. Yes, dude. You'd be, you'd, uh, first of all, you'd always be like, your, your, your brain and body would be posturing to try to get closer to men in a sexual way. It wouldn't just be like, oh, I wish that option had been here. For real? I mean, of course, man. You'd be in that booth right now. But where are like, our guys, friends? Where are, where are all their our shoulders? friends? Good job where I work today. You know? Where are all our friends that are gay? Like, where mean? are all our friends that, like, that got married, had kids, and then are like, like where is our generation never, it never, like, I, f I feel like we were just presented pizza and buffalo wild wings. Yeah, no Indian food. No I know Indian what you're food. saying. Well, the thing is, the generation, uh, our parents' generation, has a lot of the guys that got married, had kids, and then they're like, I'm actually gay. Yeah. Because that shit was not even a conversation. No. But the reason you're seeing less of it with our generation is that people figured it out before they were 60. They, they realized that they yeah. could have the life oh yeah we have see. a lot of gay dudes yeah exactly yeah, we have a lot of gay dudes so less of them I see what you're saying I see what you're getting saying getting married having kids so a lot of guys a lot of guys out of college or in college realized they were yeah, gay they're, they're like I'm, yeah, I'm gonna move to New York they're and like, fuck a party they're, yes. yeah, yeah 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 the gay pride parade has gotten a lot bigger a lot bigger yeah do you think it's gonna be even bigger do you think there'll be a lot of kids that go mm. you know what I think I wanna get married and have kids and I'm not gay some kids like, will sure and then homophobia is gonna be a thing of the past at some point 20 years, there's no homophobia. I don't know. There will always be some... It's like saying racism will be eradicated. It's it just, won't be. 
No. I think, I mean, I, think, I don't think, I think homophobia has gone before. Well, I take that back. No, there'll always be people that are not accepting. Not in but, our lifetime. What? We're going to die with hate. <laughs> like we're not, we're not, too, we're too old to, to see the. No, that's, a, there's, there, it'll always exist is my point. Yeah. Oh, it's, we're always going to see just, God, that sucks. Our kids might, your kids will definitely be. Uh, I think it'll still exist. Well, yeah, you live in Texas, but yeah. <laughs> and I'll be in Wyoming. With their whites. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Wyoming. I don't even do shows in Wyoming. I haven't done, I've never done a show in Wyoming. I did a show there. Did I? I did. I did a show there. Where? Cheyenne? Yeah. Wyoming's badass. Yeah, it was cool. I have not done a show in Montana yet. We should do a, we should do a Two Bears, One Live uh, in, uh, in Wyoming. I had okay. a live out of Wyoming. Okay. Go to, do it at a rodeo. I'll do that. And then just and just be like, hey, Wyoming, we're here. We're here. There's we're no queer. diversity. Let's we're do used this. To it. Let's keep this up. Wyoming. Wyoming. Free entrance for any person of color. It'll be the same entrance. Yeah. 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 And we'll make a killing. Yeah. Do you think Wyoming's going to hate us after this podcast? No. Nah. Do you, like, like yeah. how, do you like how we don't think things through? We just talk. You know, I bet, I bet Wyoming is a lot more progressive than we're thinking. I bet it's way more progressive than we're thinking. Yeah. We should go to Wyoming and do a taste test. Of? Of, of their culture. Okay. And go around and, and meet their LBGTQ people, do meet like, their black people, do you, meet their <sighs> Latino people, meet their Asian people, yeah. and we'll talk to them. Let's do a Two Bears Live in Wyoming, and, we'll, and we're going to- A gonna, diversity and we're, and, special? And all, yeah, a diversity special. A diversity special where we go in, all our, all our bits- are going in and meeting the meeting the uh, the you know yeah the non whites yeah, um, yeah will you ride horseback fuck yes you like horses fuck yes okay I fucking love horses you like I riding. fucking love horses okay I love horses I love cowboy hats I love tight jeans I love chewing tobacco I love whiskey I love everything that Wyoming stands for and I can't wait to see more of Wyoming so maybe our next two bears live is there in Wyoming. He's looking good, everybody. You know, I bet if my arms weren't covered in fat, I'd have them as those two. Um, great episode, Tommy. Great episode, Bertrand. We'll see you guys next time. I love, love you. you. Love you. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur fartology, dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.